how you started and why you are into the cyber security. I started with network security because back then I think people did not talk much about cyber security. As a network security engineer, we used to provide telephone support. That's how my journey started. What do you want to say about the cyber security? Why it is so important nowadays? There are more and more threats happening every year. The number of cyber threats continue to rise in terms of how they are attacking the companies has drastically changed. What is the challenges that candidates are facing? Get a good package. The youth needs to have a little more patience. Some candidates are overconfident. Focus on learning the tools. So what is the maximum package jump you have seen in your career? So welcome back to our another episode and right now we have Varun with us with a larger experience into the cyber security. So hi Varun, how are you? Hi all good, thanks for having me here. I'm seriously blessed uh, or I'm feeling pleased to be uh, you to be here. So Varun, let's start. First thing I want to know like uh, what makes you feel that I should come to this podcast? No, I think it's a, it's a great platform. You know, it's it's always good to exchange knowledge. I've always believed that after uh, earning uh, some knowledge that I've gained in the last couple of decades, I think it's very important to share that. I know there are people who would probably want to be part of cybersecurity. And I think uh, I'll be, I'll feel happy if I'm able to share uh, information or help them in some way. That's true. So how do you feel when uh, you got a call from the NG that NG Network is going to just, you know, going through with this podcast? So what first thing comes to your mind? Yeah, so very honestly, uh, I think way back, uh, I know NG Network as a training brand. And uh, I, I probably searched it for some course as well, uh, just to be very uh, candid with you. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, the mission which NG Networks has to have more and more people connect with NG Networks and, and be trained on, uh, you know, cybersecurity. And it's a, it's a very evolving uh, field, right. very lucrative field. So I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to share, like I said, what I've earned so far in terms of either expertise or experience. And this is how I think the community grows. It, this is it. This is exactly. And look at that. Uh, the time I think few years back when you search, we are into the network and limit to the network and network security. And now, by the time you are into the cyber, and we are also into the cyber. So it's all the demand in the market. So tell me, like, if you have a vast experience into the cyber security, it's close to the two decade. Let us know what exactly how you started and why you are into the cyber security. Like how you reach to the cyber security. Right. So when I started in two thousand five uh, or six, I mean uh, that was my first job. I started with network security because back then I think people did not know, did not talk much about cyber security because these are two separate domains. Uh, so uh, I was very fortunate when I started with our systems uh, as, a, as a network security engineer and we used to provide telephone support on firewalls and IPS and things like that. Uh, so that's how my journey started. But I think very soon there was a lot of whispering in, in, in companies because cyber security was started to be taken seriously. And then companies had a lot of open positions. And, and then I was fortunate that I moved to Orange Business Services and there I got to work as an engineer as, in a security operations center. Uh, and, and, and then I moved on to leadership roles in some, some companies like Rackspace Technology. And again, I, I rejoined Orange Business Services. So yeah, this is how my journey has been. Uh, so so you manage really wonderful roles, what I have seen in your profile. So what do you understand why uh, this about this cyber security in a nutshell, like, what do you want to say about the cyber security? Why it is so important nowadays? Yeah, I, I, I think it's very straightforward. So, the, you know, there are more and more threats happening every year. If you look at the numbers, uh, you know, the reports that are officially released on the internet, I think the number of cyber threats continue to rise. Also, in terms of how they are attacking uh, the companies has, has drastically changed. You know, uh, I, I think when I started, we only talked about firewalls protecting traffic coming inside. Now we are talking so much about insider threats. So there are, you know, threats which are emerging from inside the network. Uh, we are talking about APT groups, ransomware and things like that. So it has really evolved. And, and, and obviously at this point in time, uh, you know, as compared to a few years ago, I think the board members, they understand that it's very, very important to invest because there are two things at stake, to be honest. One, the, the loss that you make when, when an attack actually happens. The second thing is the reputation. And I think in, in real terms, reputation uh, damage is even uh, larger than, than the money you lose. Exactly. That's indeed, that's true, actually. So, you know, if we talk about the cyber security, whenever, how much you're satisfied being a cyber security engineer today, if we talk about your roles and whatever you're doing? Yeah, so uh, like I said, I started with the engineer roles. I, I worked in a security operations center, definitely learned a lot. And then I thought it was important for me to move uh, vertically. So I, I moved into leadership roles. And uh, uh, it feels fantastic because I think when I talk to people, you know, these days, uh, the youth is very enthusiastic about cybersecurity. 
and when i started like i said people had just started talking about cyber security so i i think it, there is a sense of pride as well and 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 i feel like fortunate that i have been uh, i hit the right uh, you know vertical at at the right time because uh, after so many years you know I, of course there is uh, a, some level of skill set that i've learned in different verticals or aspects across cyber security and i i i would say i was at the right place at the right time that's true Uh, is that happening with you as well that uh, people thinks if you're a cyber security engineer you must be hackers <laughs> <laughs> yeah so hacking is definitely an important uh, vertical of it like i said cyber security uh, you know even today when you look at it you know there is um, red teaming purple teaming uh, then there is vulnerability management you talk about si- security operation center uh, yeah, you know which so. covers a lot of things you have to manage incidents then there is a compliance piece now these days especially with dptp act recently announced there is so much noise about privacy in india right so cyber security is very very diverse and and i think i personally feel uh, there is a place for everybody where did you find the people are earning good into the cyber security in particular any any which vertical there you have seen drastic hike like unexpected hike so what is that domain yeah so yeah very true i think people today uh, you know the new entrants which are starting i think they are already earning very well i think some of the roles i personally feel are important from uh, i mean if you p- purely talk about uh, money is i i think if you, if you are a security architect so you are designing networks from a security standpoint you are forming a framework as to how it should be designed that's a very lucrative one and then of course uh, if you move up the ladder you know you are a chief information security officer or you are a chief privacy officer like i mentioned pri- privacy is another hot topic so these are some uh, good roles also if somebody is interested in uh, you know offensive security or hacking uh, again you know these people are earning pretty good because they directly are able to share what are the vulnerabilities exactly. you know they participate in bug bounty programs that we have or they participate in uh, capture the flag challenges that are um, uh, that some of the organizations and then of course platforms like github are there so you have all that opportunity to really explore it and prove your metal i really think like uh, these profiles if you talk about these people you know the forensic and the hacking that it sound very interesting what they are doing but i think they they need certain type kind of a background for that matlab aisa nahi hai ki aap ekdam random aake isme start kar sakte hain first curiosity if i am not mistaken second ek certain background leke you have to start in that thing aisa hai so ha so uh, the what i always advise is is that you know first of all get the basics right i think people always try to jump the gun i mean like i said the youth is very um, impatient uh, you know some of some of them and they would want to uh, probably you know do a cissp certification right in their second year i mean i know you have to have five years of experience to gain that but people are very uh, excited about it but i think just start with the basics if you want to go into hacking of course you start with Uh, security basics like do a comsia uh, security plus course to begin with get your basics right then if you're interested in offensive security or hacking you can do a certified ethical hacker course from ec council and things like that uh, and and then like i said there are other elements to it uh, so i think people should get their foundation right that's very important uh, even if they are not working somewhere and they want to get hands on because i think hands on is very important they can set up labs you know they can set up virtual machines uh and and then they can practice uh so that once they look for a job they are better prepared what you are doing it's a ideal position for anyone who's coming to this cyber security what you are doing right now what do you suggest like i have two options let's say if i'm a mentor i'm running a training company so there are two ways to teach the candidate to bring them to your place bringing out to your level where you're taking the interviews or you're just you know getting the candidate from the market the first way uh just simply teach them uh, the what is networking what is uh, the quite the infrastructure immediately in a month and then start with the uh, basic about the servers and all and just give them the idea what the firewalls are and the few talk uh, sock uh, you know some tools like qradar or something like that and just give you the profile this is the option one second option if i just give them the base make them understand let them exp- uh, let's let's take an example from the networking i just take them to the infra world with the help of networking let them work for a particular months or years into the network and let them understand how this works because i think networking is a stepping stone because where you are going to interact with every team understand what they are doing and then move into the firewalls learn the cyber security load balancer dmz zones what they are doing and then move into the somewhere into the cyber security they can start wherever they feels comfortable they with the coding they learn from the forensic red blue wherever team you want to go so which one is the better option 
direction to go yeah so so this is pretty much how i started so i started with uh, uh, i mean i probably started a little bit on network but i was more into network security like i said and and cyber security is a layer on top of it so for example when you talk about uh, network security you are talking about firewalls anti virus anti malware ips and ids and this was pretty much what uh, you know that 2000 era was and then in 2010 and onwards you know it, the, the things changed so there was a lot of noise about cyber security so then we we were talking about already talking about email protection you know uh, data loss prevention because the insider threats was a major concern and then of course edr and xdr right why because uh, we had threats like ransomware and 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 it, it wasn't a, a thing back then today we are not just talking about ransomware but triple extortion so your data is encrypted it is exfiltrated and then there is a ddos attack happening on your compromised machine so there is a triple extortion happening so the things have really evolved i think i would strongly recommend that people who want to make a career in cyber security get the fundamentals right uh, you know uh, understand the networks like i said you ne- you need to understand the osi model you need to understand what a server is how it works and then eventually start with firewalls understand what ideas can do and then as you start look, you know working in different organizations and if let, let's say for example if you are working on a sock you will be probably expected to work on security incidents then of course there will be a lot of tools like for example there could be a sim tool uh, these days we have a uh, so tools which are doing automation uh, tick, you know uh, working through tickets and all so then gradually develop it so i i think if you if you go step by step i i really feel that you will eventually get where where you want to be uh, but if you jump the gun and you straight away do uh, want to you know join something which probably appears to be lucrative at first in the long run it may not be as beneficial yes so of course you are at this position you must be taking the interviews as well so what is the challenges that candidate are facing to get into the good package or good level when you are taking the interviews anything you want to share with us any experience yeah so uh, you know historically in in all the organizations i have worked with whenever i have conducted interviews uh, i i i have seen that uh, uh, you know like i said the youth needs to have a little more patience uh you know people just for the sake of getting a 30% hike or 40% hike i think they are making quick jumps i think stability is also a factor because once you are in a role in a particular um, uh, company for example it will definitely give you an opportunity to learn right so for example there will be certain tools i think what uh, the challenge that i have seen is that uh, sometimes some candidates are overconfident or they feel that if they have cleared a certain certification they understand everything but when we actually question them on practical approaches or how they have worked sometimes we figure out that either those people don't have experience uh, like the practical hands on experience and it's more of a theoretical knowledge so i think the focus should be that it's great to have a knowledge and certification which is good for validation and it sometimes it also helps in short listing of your cv but i think at the end of the day when wherever whichever company you work spend a couple of years at least make sure that you fully uh, exploit in a positive manner just, just fully exploit the job role uh, learn all the tools and that will show up in the interview when you go because the, the body language is so positive when you talk about it the the interview who's probably 10 years uh, more experienced than you they'll immediately get hold whether it's a chat gpt kind of an answer or whether this person really has a uh, practical experience so focus on uh you know learning the tools and and do get involved in uh, you know handling security incidents if you are given an opportunity uh, use tools like qualis for vulnerability management but really learn it and then of course keep looking for other opportunities if you want to switch job and increase right. your compensation so so overall what suggestion you want to give me if i want to train the candidate what things i should take care mujhe kin cheezon ka bahut acche se dhyan rakhna chahiye when i am giving the training agar main koi chahta hu ki cyber security mein acha acche level pe jaye to what are the key factors so uh, jaise for example uh, like i suggested ki Com- comsia plus ka uh, jo security plus program hai i think wo ek broader uh, broadly cover karta hai uh, cyber security ko and then uh, i think people uh, of course i mean the course contents will remain the same whatever uh, it could be comsia or it could be any other vendor but i think they should start from the basics like i said starting with networking protocols tcp ip osi model uh, you know subnet ranges things like that because then they will develop that understanding of the network and then they should talk about security so security mein hum kya kya cover kar sakte hain we are talking about firewalls like i said antivirus uh, if you if you don't know 
what what's what's a what a virus is or what a trojan is or what a malware is i think long run jab aap cyber security mein aage jayenge you will have trouble investigating the incidents because because that language or lingo is actually used to so, get the basics right don't hurry up see eventually everybody will end up like i said getting where they want to and when you talk about compensation and growth like i have spent a couple of decades so wherever i am uh, you know fortunately it is not uh, it was not done in a day so i had to eventually learn and work with some good organizations uh, learned a lot uh, learned a lot of tools and worked with so many excellent people so i think if you do it gradually uh, i i think you you should be happy at the end exactly i indeed it's 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 a true suggestion like for anyone it's it works i know so it was a good experience to just hear, hear it out like for the cyber security and all so what is the maximum package jump you have seen in your career like from a candidate anyone in front of you so uh, so these days uh, you know these days it, it's a lot more like i said i think when i started 19 to 20 years ago uh the, the jumps were the packages were low uh, you know the jumps were also sometimes low uh these days uh, because the company so by the way there is a there, there is a huge shortfall when it comes to cyber security professionals so i think one encouraging word i want to have for anybody who's watching this is that if you go step by step and if you hit the right companies at the right time and you know you get into opportunities where in either you are working in a security operations center working through security incidents or probably you are into ethical hacking i think if you move step by step you can definitely i think i mean the norm is it's, it's definitely 30 to 50% hike that you generally get when you jump uh, the companies uh, so that it, it also depends on how much experience you have you know how how much uh, of a learner you are you know because when companies hire candidates or individuals it depends what sort of requirement they have what timeline they have i think if you generally go to go out to internet and search it you will see a standard hike of 30% is the norm and people talk about it but if if a company wants they want to let's say they have a client project the client is ready they are just waiting for people to join they may end up giving 50% also and as a, as a word of caution i think sometimes it is a problematic also because it can create those uh, uneven balances between two candidates with the same experience and profile but it's really a company's call how much they are comfortable but yeah i mean these days anybody who's starting career i think they they have a good future i would say perfectly fine thank you very much for sharing all this information and i'm very happy to you to be here and just you know sharing all the experiences about the importance of cyber security the future and as varun shared each and every steps that if you are taking into the cyber security you must start from the basic so i think if whenever i spoke to any experienced guy they have they are pretty clear बॉस आपने करियर अच्छा बनाना है तो यू शुड बी क्लियर इन टू दी बेसिक्स बेसिक्स आपके स्ट्रॉग होने चाहिए आई थिंक आई एम ऑल्सो फॉलोइंग द सेम थिंग सो थैंक यू वेरी मच वरुण टू बी हेयर एंड गाइज इफ यू स्टिल हैविंग एनी क्वेश्चन लेफ्ट और एनी थिंग यू स्टिल वॉन्ट टू आस्क सो प्लीज फील फ्री टू शेयर इन टू दी कॉमेंट लाइक अस एंड फॉलो अस थैंक यू